summer recording from the BTV studio. Today is Monday, May 22nd, and only seven more days remain in the school year, and final semester exams begin this week, so use your time wisely in your classes. Yes, your first spring semester exams begin Thursday for third period. It is a two-hour period, and all of the classes will adjust to 39 minutes. And you will not have this third period again this school year. Woo! There's this Friday, you will have a one-hour review and exam part for one, for mm, part one, part one, for periods four, five, and six. Periods one and two will be 55 minutes, while periods seven and eight will be 54. Just a minute difference. Next Monday is the Memorial Day holiday, so next Tuesday is part two for your semester exam for periods four, five, and six. Next Wednesday, you will have two-hour periods for your semester exams for periods one and seven, and for periods two and eight, you have two period two hour periods for your semester exams on that final day. Both next Wednesday and Thursday are half days. Good luck Bears. And to be exempt from the exams, you can only have three or fewer absences from January 3rd to June 1st, only excluding school business absences. Your final average for the spring semester needs to be 80 or higher and conduct must be satisfactory or better. And you need to attend during the scheduled exam time. Now let's give Bella Flemings a shout out for competing with 55 other athletes beginning this Thursday on Colorado Springs for a spot on the USA Junior National Team. The final 12 member team competes for a four straight gold medal in, in the FIBA U16 Americas Championship June 13th to the 19th, BFND Bella. Kudos to our Special Olympians Alice Castillo, first in the 100 meter dash and fourth in the softball throw while Malachi Jenkins placed sixth in the long jump and in the 100 meter dash at the track and field state Special Olympics this weekend. BFND, Alex and Malachi. Bears time is running out if you need attendance recovery, which is available with your teachers during their tutoring times. Remember, you can only have nine absences for a semester course and 18 absences for a year long course. Today is also makeup day for all students to turn in your laptops. Be sure to bring in your power chargers when you return them. And it's also time for everyone to turn in textbooks. You can return them at the VPO or on the big blue book carts located in the VPO and in the front of the school. This is all for textbooks. Bears, if you're interested in taking a once in a lifetime trip to Japan, English teacher Jesse Rodriguez will hold a meeting tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. to provide details that include the itinerary, dates for the summer of 2025, cost of the trip, and also mark the official opening of enrollment. There are limited spots on this tour. Attend the meeting for all the details. For more information, email jesse.rodriguez at nasd.net. Seniors, you can still order your final transcripts now, but they won't be sent out until grades and attendance are finalized, which is around mid-late June. You can order them online at nisdtx.scribeorder.com. Follow directions carefully to avoid a delay with your final transcript. Finally, Bears, you have, have you ordered your yearbook yet? If so, so yearbook staff plans on distributing them this Wednesday and Thursday. If you did not order one, you have until tomorrow to go online at yearbookforever.com to order one for $75. But wait, there's more, the theme of the yearbook. You can buy a yearbook on a distribution day. However, yearbooks will be $75 cash only, first come, first served until they sell out. After Thursday, they will sell for $80. Don't miss out on this year's memories. Well, this is all we have for today, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have an announcer to BTV, please email Mr. Cerna at fernando.cerna at nasd.net. I'm Summer, signing off from BTV. Remember, Bears, your, su your success hinges heavily on your positive mindset, so stay engaged in your learning. Believe in what author Robert Collier said, success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out. Have a great day, Bears. This is a BTV production.